Hello, I'm Nige. I'm Anders. Welcome to the Beer Kit Review. Uh, we're doing one of yours this week, aren't we? Yes, it's the Young's Definitive uh, Bitter. Uh, mm. It's it's their lower range, uh, lower end of the range kit. It was about a tenner just over, I think. Uh, yeah, it's quite basic, and with the kit you get a tin of of concentrate basically and under the lid there's a little sachet of yeast and all the instructions are on the label which was a pain because i had to scrape the label off no okay and i lost half the sentence of of everything of, um, <laughs> as you do most important important part of each sentence as well i dare say i know but anyway yeah. you pretty much know what you're doing, doing anyway with these things the only thing i had to add extra was a kilo of uh, brewing sugar okay uh, and anyway, we're not here about talk about the brewing process, really. We're it's all about we're all about the beer. Yeah. So I'll fire up beer cam. You can do that. Into the glass. Let's do it. So um, Young's is one of the the companies I haven't tried so far. Um. What sort of ABV is this? It's about 5%. Okay. Give take. Well, probably take about anything. And it was, uh, I bought this about five weeks ago, I guess. There, that's, oh, beer cams. Pick it up. That, that's lovely. Lovely copper coloured uh, ale. Look at that. I'm pleased with that. It's That's lovely. Beautifully. It's a very small bubbles in it. That's a good sign. And it's got a nice head. Hmm. Bit of fruitiness. I'm getting a little bit of, getting a little bit of banana. Yes, I get that. We'll talk about that in a minute, but have a taste. Oh, it is nice. Good carbonation. That's actually quite nice. That is lovely. That has got a really lovely mouthfeel to it. Nice and weighty. It's, it's, it's a good, best, bitter that's why I'm, 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 it's my quest for a good best bitter now this isn't perfect I, obviously i've drank some of these beforehand you picked up in the banana that's that's an off flavor you get it when mm -hmm. the yeast is under a little bit of strain usually it's something either too hot i knew this one it wasn't too hot but the, the brew because i had temperature control on it and it was nice constant temperature okay but I'm pretty sure I bottled this just a little bit too early. And that's probably what's caused that. Do you think? I bottled it because I wanted to do a grain brew and get something else going. But, <laughs> but basically, it, I think it's, I can't remember the compound. It, it causes a banana flavour. But it's, it's an acid combining with the alcohol and that you get that. Now, uh, the good news is, it's not that overpowering that so it's only a teeny bit of, of, of the banana we're getting in this one but if i just leave this a couple of months in the bottle uh it should dissipate okay uh, okay the amount of times i've had dodgy brews in the past and i've just left it and six months later they do seem to sort themselves out don't they so yeah even if things go wrong with your brew just leave it leave it it will sort itself out it will... uh, no yeah with that little off flavour, which it doesn't distract from this, actually. No. Uh, it's, it's okay. It just gives a little bit more fruitiness. Some beers actually call for that to be added to it. Mm -hmm. You want to create that in the beer, some Belgian beers, and, and if you want banana beer. Okay, interesting, because banana is something I have. Yes, I think if we go back to a video that we've done before with Belgian trappist 
beers. Yeah. Uh, the left, for instance. I seem to remember them being there being quite a bananary flavour to them too. Um, more than this. Be frank. Not strong with the aroma now, but it's going down so easy. Oh, it's perfectly drinkable. In fact, that's giving it a stunning with faint praise. That's a lovely beer. Uh, that, yeah, the, the body of this mm. is, is just gorgeous. Uh, it's probably the best, best bitter kit I've done so far, I think. Okay. Uh, brewing wise, it's my best brew, obviously, but but the kit, I recommend it. Okay. So uh took a little break there. Um continued through this, and I haven't really noticed an awful lot of change. It's um the scent, the aroma of banana has, has calmed down slightly the further it's gone down, but taste-wise, still good, still. Slightly caramelly. Um, it's full in the mouth. Um, yeah, I like this. I'm pleased with that. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'll, I'll get it again. Well, actually, I probably won't because I'll be getting other things to review here. Uh, so I probably won't get this one again. Well, in <laughs> which case, because I haven't done it before, I might well try it and see, see what goes. Um, in the meantime, though, I think it's about time to say goodbye. So thanks for watching this one. Um, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Goodbye. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>